Hi, Gareth. Um, Alex. A big moment for Marcus Rashford to be captain and score the winner today, uh, especially with the background of the issue of the knee and booing. Was that in your mind when selecting him as captain and how did you think he did? Uh, well, the captaincy really, he was by far our most experienced international player in terms of caps and uh, we felt that would be... Um, the, the right decision um, he was obviously delighted to to get that news this morning and um, nice for him to to score the goal as well so um, I, I think uh, the, the the game itself there were um, it, it, not easy for the group of players we put together you know a lot of uh, a lot of changes from the other night several players making their debuts players who needed the minutes players who've had injury or illness so there were a lot of um, different elements going on to, uh, on the pitch um, clearly the the performance I think needs to improve um, from what we did today um, but nice to win and uh, we, we've certainly learned a lot from the game Jordan Henderson back as well um, great to have him back and would you be able to explain the situation with the penalty was he the next in line uh, well, I wouldn't be able to explain the situation. Um, uh, Marcus and uh, James Ward Prowse were, the, were the, the two nominated at the start of the game, and of course they'd both come off. So um, I'd have to say I was expecting Dominic to uh, to, to take it at that point. Um, but Hendo, as the captain on the field by then, um, was the one to make the decision. So I think if I was Dom as a centre forward, I might not have uh, I might not have gone along with that so easily. Thanks, Alex. Uh, just remind everybody to stay on mute when you aren't answering a question, please. Uh, we'll go next to Andy Dunn from the Mirror. Hi, Gareth. Um, uh, he, he won the penalty. He got a lot more minutes under his belt. Um, Jack Grealish is making a fairly irresistible case to be starting next Sunday, isn't he? I think um, you know we've seen with Jack in uh, in the two games that uh, he he has those moments where he can really turn matches and um, you know he, he obviously did that from the left um, in this instance we'd, we'd pushed him out to the left uh, by that stage so you know it's been very useful for him to get those match minutes under the belt to to get a bit closer to um, full match sharpness um, and um, you know that's been valuable for, for several of the players as well. Thanks Andy we'll go to Paul Joyce of the Times Hello, Gareth. I was I was just wondering what you thought of the reaction to the uh, to the taking of the knee and the booing. I know you don't want to talk about it all the time, but just in this instance, because it's the first time since you made your statement yesterday. Just just what you what your reaction was. Well, uh, I think um, I sadly sort of expected what happened to happen, and um, we have accepted that as a group. Um, it's not going to stop what we're doing and what we believe and it's not certainly not going to stop my support for uh, our players and um, our staff so that, that's it we're going to have to live with that um, but you're right you know we've said what we're going to say now and um, uh, uh, of course you're right to ask the question today but moving forward it's pointless me going into any further detail on it Thanks, Paul. Dan Kilpatrick, the standard. Hi, Gareth. Uh, Hi, Dan. As it stands, do you think it's going to be difficult to find a way to potentially start Jack Grealish, Phil Foden and Mason Mount in the same team? Or, or do you think that's something that, that's possible as well as including a more direct player like Jaden or Marcus or, or Bukayo? Well, it's definitely going to be difficult to fit all of them in. Um you know, we, we, there's got to be a balance to any team, and uh, there's always a numbers game to be played. So, um, you know, in the last couple of games, we've we've got four attacking players into the into the team, and um, um, yeah, obviously different teams have different ways of doing that. Chelsea just won the Champions League playing with three, really. Um, we've got to get the, the, the right balance, find the players that are in form, find the players that we think are our best players for, for different games. But we're going to need them all. You know, the players that start game one, there'll be changes during the game. And 
I was talking to somebody outside about 1998. Uh, I'm pretty certain David Beckham didn't start the first game. I know that Michael Owen didn't. By the end of the tournament, Michael Owen was a world superstar. So, you know, those those changes happen. We need people. We need game changes from the bench. We're fortunate that we've got players that can do that as well. Thanks, Dan. Duncan Wright, the son. Hi, Gareth. Um, obviously, you're not going to name the the extra the replacement for Trent until tomorrow. But James Ward Prowse, he, he couldn't have done much more, could he? I mean, and the set pieces are an added bonus that. You haven't got anyone like that else in the squad, have you? A Prowse's, uh, you know, professionalism and approach um, all, all week, g- given the disappointment of being left out, has been first class, absolutely first class. So, you know, the decision won't necessarily be um, about the performances today as such. It's going to be positional, really, and, and the area that we feel... Um, we might need the most cover and um, you know because I couldn't have been happier with the way that Jesse approached things Ollie Watkins approached things and the two young defenders approached things they've all uh, had excellent weeks and their mentality is what we expect of this group but they, they was, have certainly matched that right the way through Thanks Duncan Matt Law Telegraph Hi Gareth Hi Matt um, Roy Keane, before the game, described um, Jordan's inclusion in the squad as a distraction. And I wondered if the penalty was, was proof of that in that he was sort of trying to go for the Hollywood ending of his, of his comeback. And can we be safe to assume now that he, he won't be taking a penalty during the tournament unless it really goes down to the wire on a shootout or something? Well, uh, I think we're firstly... Um, we're, we're certainly not distracted by anything. You know, we know um, the situation Hendo is in. Um, he's been a, a very positive influence around the camp with with the group. Um, it's a step forward for him physically today, which which was important in order for him to be play, be able to play some sort of part in the tournament. And um, we're realistic about what that could be. So it's not a situation where. Um, it's dividing the group uh, or we're unrealistic about what's possible we're not hanging our hat on him being fit if we can get him to a good level then then that's a bonus we've got 26 players which of course has never been the case before with the penalties we, we're we very diligent in how we practice them um, I, you know, I didn't expect what happened to happen I wouldn't expect that to happen again Thanks, Matt. We've got time for three more. Starting with Gary Cottrell, Sky Sports. There we go. I'm here to... Hello, Gareth. Thanks for your time. Hi, Can you give us an update on Harry Maguire? Yeah, he's he's progressing well. Um, he's uh, He was running today. Um, so it, the last few days have been very positive. Um, there's still, you know, a, a little bit of work to be done. Um, but he's definitely heading in the right direction and um, we're, we were very pleased with the, the progress over the last two days in particular. Thanks, Gary. Jacob Steinberg? Hi, Gareth. Um, are you worried at all about the impact that the booing of taking the knee is going to have on the players? Because it, it, it must be you know, very upsetting for them when, when that happens. Are you worried that it might have an impact on performance at the start of games? I, I think I've answered that yesterday and um, answered it already today and there, there's no point in discussing it any further. You know that we've said we're going to continue to do what we do because we know that the players are um, uh, together, united uh, and, and are not going to let it affect them. Thanks, Jacob. And we'll finish with David Ornstein from The Athletic. Hi, uh, Gareth. Similar to Gary, I was just wanting to check on the fitness of um, Bakayo Saka, if possible. Yeah, a, a, a sort of minor hip flexor injury. So um, we're hoping should train by middle of the week. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll assess that day by day, but not, not one that we're concerned about um, for the sort of mid, mid-term anyway. Hey, everybody. Thanks for this evening. Well,